Whispers of the Past. Chapter 10, Release and Farewell. As the ritual reached its zenith under the canopy of stars, the village square was silent, except for the shaman's rhythmic chants and the soft rustle of leaves in the night wind. Kira, encircled by ancient stones and flickering candles, felt a surge of energies converge upon her, weaving through her being like threads of a complex tapestry. The green jade pendant pulsing with a life force that spanned centuries suddenly flared, illuminating the entire square. Within the brilliant light, Kira was transported into the spirit's memories. Here, she confronted not just an anonymous malevolent force, but a distinct entity giant, the shaman's once trusted friend. Betrayal had turned him into a spirit bound by anguish and regret. His face, twisted in eternal torment, appeared before Kira, his voice a meld of fury and sorrow. I wanted power, he confessed, his form shimmering within the pendant's glow to protect what we loved, but I was misguided, blinded by my own desires. Kira, enveloped in the spirit's turbulent emotions, realized that freeing Jian required confronting the raw edges of his betrayal. It wasn't enough to simply offer forgiveness. She needed to understand and validate his pain. I see your pain, she whispered into the heart of the ritual, her words echoing through the spiritual plane. You sought to protect, but in your way. Let us release that pain, together. The ritual deepened, the chants growing louder as the shaman guided Kira through the delicate weave of appeasement. The air around them thickened with the power of ancient rites, every word and gesture meticulously crafted to heal centuries-old wounds. Kira, acting as the conduit between Jian and the physical world, felt each wave of his sorrow, each spike of his remorse as her own. Throughout this intricate dance of rituals, Kira remained deeply connected to Jian's spirit, her own emotional resilience tested as she absorbed and transformed his centuries of pain. With each step of the ritual, she spoke directly to Jian's essence, her words a balm to the festering wounds inflicted by betrayal and time. Jian, you are heard. Your pain is acknowledged, but it is time to let go, she intoned, her voice both commanding and compassionate. Release your hold on this world and trust in us to remember your story, not with fear, but with understanding and forgiveness. As dawn approached, the darkness of night receding before the soft hues of morning, the pendant's light reached a crescendo. In those final moments, Kira offered a part of her spirit's light to Jian, a symbolic gesture of sharing the burden he had carried alone. With tears streaming down her face, she spoke the words of release, crafted from deep understanding and compassion. Be at peace, Jian. Return to the earth and sky, free from the shackles of your past deeds. The light dimmed, and the pendant's once vibrant glow faded to a soft, serene pulse before extinguishing completely. The spirit of Jian, with a final sigh that seemed to stir the leaves in the square, was released, his essence dispersing into the morning air. The villagers, who had been silent witnesses to this profound spiritual journey, now exhaled in unison, their breaths forming mists in the cool dawn air. Kira, exhausted yet uplifted, felt the weight of the pendant lighten around her neck. It was no longer a vessel of restless spirits, but a simple piece of jade, its centuries of burdens lifted. She had not only uncovered the truths of her heritage, but had actively participated in mending the fractures of a long-ago betrayal. As she looked around at the hopeful faces of the villagers and the peaceful dawn breaking over the horizon, Kira knew she had changed the course of her family's story. 
She had turned a tale of caution into one of redemption, her actions weaving new threads into the fabric of her lineage. With the dawn breaking over the horizon, painting the sky in hues of gold and pink, Kyra prepared to leave the village. Her heart was heavy with the goodbye, but lightened by the resolution of the pendant's legacy. She carried not just an ordinary piece of jade now, but a symbol of her journey and growth. Returning home, Kira found Ethan waiting, his expression one of hope and concern. Their reunion was a quiet one, filled with the understanding of all that had transpired. Kira shared her experiences, the truths she'd uncovered about her heritage, and the supernatural forces she'd encountered and appeased. As she spoke, Ethan listened, his skepticism replaced by awe and a newfound respect for the beliefs that had shaped his beloved. Their relationship, once strained by the unseen and the unbelieved, found new strength in the shared experience of the mystical. They realized that belief and heritage were not just tales from the past, but were integral to their lives, influencing and shaping their perspectives and decisions. As Kira placed the now inert jade pendant in a box, she did not see it as an end, but as a reminder of her journey, a journey of understanding, confronting fears, and embracing the unseen forces of the world. She knew that though the pendant's glow had faded, the wisdom and the connections it had awakened within her would continue to illuminate her path. 